Hi Libra and welcome to my channel. I hope you're all doing well. I'd just like to say thank you very much for all your support, for your donations, likes, comments and subscribes. It really means a lot and welcome if you're new. Just a little update um, because some of you have asked about private readings. I'm still unable to do them for the moment but I will update you when I start doing them again. The reason is because my relocation has been delayed, mainly due to the weather, but I should be moving pretty soon, hopefully. So in the meantime, you know, I'll keep trying to bring as many um, of these readings as I can to the channel, so please bear with me. So, this reading's for Libra, Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus for March 2021. Take what resonates and leave the rest. Remember, it's general. Some of you have been through quite a lot. I'm really getting... Um, you're persevering right now. Some of you do have someone on your mind. Yeah, Ten of Wands at the bottom. So some of you are coming to the end of a cycle, I feel, that's been quite heavy. Yeah, and you're going to have a new beginning. Some of you are going to have communication from um, a twin flame, it could be. Some of you, you know, have had this person on your mind, could be a Gemini. So I feel from the energy here that some of you are healing. Um, you may have been through a breakup, as I said, with that Ten of Wands. So it might have been quite recent or it might be just in your energy. Some of you are still a little bit imbalanced because of things within that you need to sort of release, forgive and heal, yeah? It doesn't mean taking someone back or anything like that. It's really just for you so that you can move on in peace. Another card here speaking about balance. So I do feel you're going to come out of this imbalanced energy into a more balanced energy later in the month after you heal or whenever this happens you know it could even be not this month you know later on down the line everyone's paths are you know are different and then we've got a page of cups here coming in um with an apology potentially someone who listens to their heart in terms of where they're guided to and that seems that's you it could be a new person okay but page of cups is often this apology that comes in Sagittarius energy Cancer Scorpio Pisces let's just clarify and um, this person yeah I feel wants to heal things with you though with the three of swords Yes, wow. Six of Cups, someone from your past here coming in with a loving offer, that Page of Cups, wanting to put things right. They could be an Aquarius, Libra, Gemini. Yeah, could be Twin Flames, as I said before. 1111. Some of you may see this number a lot more now. So you're manifesting 
this connection and it shows that union is, is coming near. Some of you, though, um, if, this, if this person comes in, will feel quite conflicted. There may be something that gets in the way. For some of you, I feel it's healing. Wow, same card. Page of Cups, again. Somebody wants to come and visit. But as I said about something getting in the way, it could be a person, because notice we've got three energies. I feel it could be um, someone a bit older, maybe a relative of theirs or yours, take what resonates, who, who tries to intervene. I don't feel they'll, they'll succeed. Um, your energy feels good, you know, trust your intuition, Libra. Okay, so I'm definitely sensing a message coming through. Another page, two pages showing communication, a new beginning, a very passionate person. And with the Knight of Swords, it's someone who rushes in and they may not think things through very carefully when they do this. They just kind of have this bolt of inspiration is what I'm hearing and they just want to come in and communicate with you so do get this is someone from your past again um, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius Aquarius, Libra, Gemini and we've got a King of Cups here so I feel the person might come in like a page. First of all, this is the energy I'm getting. Um, where initially they don't open up fully, they may be a little bit immature, a bit nervous, but then they become more grounded. And again, there's this energy of opening the heart, their heart chakra, opening up in both these images. Emotions being shared. Um, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces here, water. Now for some of you it could be two energies. Just got to put that out there because we've got a knight and a king. Two pages so you could have children, they could have children. Um, I know recently we have had in your readings two energies coming through. So... I feel one is from the past and one is potentially a new person. I feel that some of you are still focused on the past. If this person comes back from the past, focused on what went wrong. And for that reason, some of you can't proceed, you know, with this person. And that's where you have this new communication from someone new because I'm getting two different options here for you Libra. New beginning though with the Ace. Um, you are going to receive downloads and signs that are going to show you, Spirit's going to show you, you're going to, um, this new beginning rather is approaching and this new love. Um, it could be, you know, signs in nature for some of you because um, two cards here both have a bird. Could be a bird, 
specific type of bird you keep seeing. Look up, always look up the meaning of the bird, you know, the spiritual meaning of the bird, okay? Um, just reminded me of today <laughs> for myself um, when I was out at the park, um, I saw an egret and a kingfisher. So I knew they were signs for me from spirit, okay? Um, signs of peace and love and abundance mainly, but um, it's always good to look up what those meanings are for your story. Okay, so yeah, some of you, this is a divine connection that's coming towards you and there could be a rebirth. So if you want it, there could be a rebirth of this old connection, um, marriage potentially, you've got Taurus and Scorpio energy there. So let's have a look actually, yeah, the Knight of Swords. Wow, this Knight of Swords is on a mission. <laughs> um, they will send you a loving message. They do want to commit to you, build something, you know, family with you. But some of you will be focused on the past. Two energies here showing, focusing on loss. So I really feel some of you need to take some time out to heal your heart chakra in particular. So how about this King of Cups? Wow. So this could be the same energy for some of you because this is quite amazing that we got the consultant's energy. So your energy and the other person's energy. You're looking towards each other. Three of Cups is a reunion, potentially. A little bit defensive, I feel, on your part. Because of what they did in the past. But this could be long term with the Ten of Pentacles. Yeah, I feel there could have been some betrayal in the past. That's why some of you may be a bit defensive, focused on that. Um, so obviously, you know, talk to the person, but that's why healing is necessary because if you don't heal the emotions you have within, then they sort of come out skewed, if that makes sense, you know, towards that person. Um, and then it won't go anywhere. I feel they're going to tell you something quite important. They've had some sign as well. You know, I was saying about signs. I feel they receive a sign about you. Could be from a dream. And they want success with you. They want commitment with the reef. Yeah, another ace. So... They're going to be persistent. They want to commit. It's really what keeps coming through. Some of you, it is another energy if you don't want this old energy. Okay? But I really do feel that um, if you wish for this to work out, it could. And if you don't, then you do have the option of someone else because the universe listens to you you know if you basically say I don't want that energy that's fine um you know that's essentially what the universe will give you they'll give you someone else okay anything else on potential outcome for Libra. Um, I'm seeing an image of someone really returning to you and this person might wear a hat 
um, quite often, or a hood. They could be um, getting quite specific messages here. They could work in the medical profession, caring sort of profession. Um, I'm seeing some of you turning your backs on this person. Okay, wow, your energy here at the bottom. Yeah, so some of you have really been through a lot. Um, again, there's this energy of going within, in your bubble, healing, not really letting anyone in, cutting people out that don't serve you. It's quite interesting, again here, the amount of energy is coming through here, Libra. Pretty amazing. We do have someone from your past, again, wanting to return. They're going to be quite persistent, but this is how a lot of you feel when this happens. Like it's a headache. Spirit tries to warn you, give you signs. Listen to those signs, okay? Trust, trust what you're told, what you see. Some of you want to just free yourself from this person. This is the image I was seeing, some of you walking away, wanting a change. This image as well, wow, that was kind of what I was seeing, someone walking away. That's amazing. So this is what some of you do, you just commit to yourself. And then we've got an, a King of Swords here, perfect match for the Queen of Swords, Aquarius, Libra, Gemini. Now it could be this night, because this night was showing up as someone from the past before. Um, I feel that things could, could progress slowly with the Knight of Pentacles, very slow moving energy. And that's why some of you still feel a little bit up in your head about it. unsure if they're sincere. So let's see, Spirit, is this person from the past sincere? Yeah, this person has been unhappy. They were in a connection. That's why we were getting another energy, I feel, coming through. For some of you, it was just someone else there, but they do come towards you when they're single. They want to reconcile. So that's quite sincere, I think. But yeah, there is someone else there lurking. Um, which we got before, didn't we? With the Page of Cups. There was another energy who could be this karmic, or it could be a karmic family member. Yeah, wow. Amazing when spirit does this every time. <laughs> when I say karmic and other energy, here they are. So people getting in the way, either on your part or on their part, trying to stop this from happening. I do feel they're like older energies than yourself. This makes you then very inconstant up and down in your energy. Yeah, some of you don't want this. I do feel there could be an ending here. Feeling at a crossroads. Yeah, anger. So all the things I was saying before that if you haven't healed from the past, then this is what then comes up. A lot of anxiety. But deep down, I feel some of you do miss this person. Okay, you'll know within, you know, if you don't want it, that's fine. 
and just walk away. You know, I'm only showing you the energy here of what could happen. And as I said, some of you do decide to walk away. And then I feel there's another energy, very committed, that comes in. Okay, let's get a few Romance Angels for you, Libra. So some of you are in separation from this person right now. I do feel some of you do know this person because we got you've already met the romantic partner you seek. So this page of cups who keeps showing his face. Um, keep an open mind. It's really coming through a lot in this reading um, in terms of giving them a chance. I do feel this is true love. There's a lot of affection there, a lot of romantic feelings. You've known each other before from a past life. So even if this isn't someone from your past, um, but you feel this strong bond, it's because you met in a past life. And some of you do know them already. You've met them before. A couple of initials, T in particular, it's coming through, P, K and S. Okay, let's take a few Wisdom of the Oracle. Wow. So, deep knowing. Yeah, this is what you're being guided to listen to, that inner knowing um, that you, you know, that you have within that wisdom, what spirit is showing you. Because some of you just know this person's coming back into your life. That's the message I'm getting here. You could be at a distance. You could have been dreaming about them recently. I feel some of you have had signs in your dreams Listen to those. 43, breaking down to a 7. So it's a spiritual connection, possibly twin flames, you know, soulmates. Unfinished symphony, that is beautiful. So this really speaks of that page of cups, you know, wanting to return to put things right. This is not over. For some of you, if you want it. Some of you may um, receive messages from this person in songs. So always like look up the lyrics. Okay. They're giving you a sign. The egg here for a new beginning. The blue is quite important. The throat chakra. Some of you do really need to heal. So as I kept getting and express yourselves but express yourselves um, healthily you know so let out those emotions first you know um, in a healthy way if you can okay Libra so that's all I have for you today I hope this reading's resonated please do comment if it has Sending lots of love. Thank you again for your support and I'll see you soon.